So much has transpired in 2020. It's hard to recall pre-pandemic life. For me, the most vivid memory of the law school was in late February, where I had a chance to meet the widow of the late Robbie Robinson. To see her meet the inaugural class of Robinson scholars, and to hear her say to them, you are now family. And yet not even two weeks later, to borrow a phrase from the musical Hamilton, we indeed saw the world turned upside down. Students left for spring break without an inkling that it would be their last time in the building for the spring 2020 term. Suddenly, instruction was suspended and everyone prepared to pivot to a fully online remainder of the term. During those hectic days, I reflected on the fact that this law school had already endured wars, depressions, and indeed the last great global pandemic. Now as then, our community rallied, and I will forever be grateful for the grit and resilience for the students, faculty, and staff that pulled together and adapted to this new normal. So too did an incredible group of alumni, like yourselves, provide unparalleled levels of financial support for summer jobs, for bar preparation, and for the Student Emergency Fund. This term, one without peer, culminated in the first, for me at least, virtual commencement, thanks to the tireless work of our communications and IT teams. Barely had we caught our breath when the summer exploded over the senseless killings of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and others. Led by alumni leaders, faculty, and students who had worked on the front lines of civil rights, criminal justice, combating structural racism and advancing social justice. Our community undertook important conversations on these and other topics. Words soon became action. When the law school lost some true titans like the Honorable Horace Johnson and Mr. Chester Davenport, its first black graduate, our community again responded. Thanks to the support of President Jerry Moorhead and others, the law school helped to preserve the legacy of these leaders through endowed lectures, and memorial scholarships and fellowships. Fall term welcome the law school class of 2023, the most academically talented group in the law school's history and the most diverse group in over a decade. New students and returning students, along with the faculty and staff, adapted to a new form of hybrid learning, with some in the classroom and some attending virtually. Upper class students in our clinics honed their skills in online advocacy on behalf of their clients whether abuse victims, immigrants, or veterans. In a world where we had to stay six feet apart, the school discovered new ways of building community. We had to discard some traditions, like the Welcome Back Barbecue, create new ones, like picnics on North Campus, and adapted others, whether homecoming at home, or the first virtual Halsey Gambrell competition, where Georgia defended the title. Undaunted in its vision to be the nation's best return on investment, in early November, the school again claimed the mantle as the nation's best value in legal education. As this challenging year comes to a close, I'm eternally grateful for the grit and resilience of every member of this community. When your community suffered, you answered the call. When our students had emergencies, you responded to their need. In the words of Mrs. Robinson, you are indeed family. My wife and I wish you and yours a blessed holiday. Thanks for all you do.